Hey guys, welcome back to Barry's Corner. It's Emily here, and today I'm going book shopping. You guys seem to love the last book shopping video. I don't know if that was because my boyfriend was in it, but I absolutely loved making that video. So I decided to do it again. I am two weeks into college and my birthday is coming up August 25th. This is coming out after my birthday though. Um, but I decided to treat myself and go and like kind of explore Tennessee because I'm at the University of Tennessee. First time being here. So I wanted to have my look around also, all the Starbucks locations on my campus are closed, so I need my Starbucks fix, and we're going there right now. Um, but this is going to be a little FaceTime, like, come with along on with me on my day. That was not proper grammar. I don't even know what's going on right now. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to continue this vlog. But before I do, please subscribe, comment down below, and like this video. All of my social links are down in the description box below, as well as my Amazon wishlist if you would like to gift me a book. For my birthday or if you would like to, for me to review a book definitely give me like gift one of me or honestly just let me know in the comments i'll buy it and like let's see what i think about it okay let's get on into the video i 100 uh lost my car i could not find where i parked it so um i found it and let's go to Barnes and nobles so many people here to the point where I have to like hide in the children's section to make a video oh my gosh Whew. so many things 50% off so many things I want to buy I'm going broke right now oh my gosh okay we're gonna head to Starbucks and see what their five dollar book is for the month if they still do that okay I got my books I got my Starbucks this is huge, um, and I think I'm gonna make a TikTok for my bookish account. I, I'll leave it down in the description box below. Okay, um, I'm, I spent a lot of money there. They were having the 50% off sale, and how, how could I not buy books? Okay, I have two bags, two bags. I have six books in here two poetry books which I've been telling myself that I really want to get into poetry more and that I want to buy more books um there are people looking at me so it's fine <laughs> I bought a thriller a murder mystery I don't read those look at me branching out I I'll give you a haul when I get back but oh gosh I spent so much money because <laughs> only the two poetry books were on sale and they were a lot of money to begin with so each of them were like $12 Okay, let's go eat. I don't know where I'm gonna eat yet, but you guys will find out in one second. <laughs> I'm at Target. I didn't film the outside because it's raining, but how did I find myself in the book section again? And I'm about to buy this book. <sighs> I'm, I'm not, I'm a little bit too much today. We secured the bags. Um, okay, I spent way too much today and I'm honestly having a lot of <laughs> buyer's remorse right now, but I'm making this video and maybe I'll get some use out of these things. So honestly, let's first start with Target. I know we're here for the books, but um, I have one book in this Target bag. Well, one, I bought underwear, duh, but like um, also a little cute, Top. It's like a pajama top. I love. I, you're not going to be able to see this properly. I'm going to be honest with you. 
um, but it looks like this and I think it's cute but the one book that I did get at Target is I believe it's called Red at the Bone I saw this on Noelle Gallagher's YouTube channel and she spoke so highly of it I believe it's about a teenage pregnancy and it pulls together two families from different social classes and it basically follows I think the mom and the teen mostly I'm not fully sure but I heard it's so 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 good and the cover is absolutely stunning I was not expecting to get anything at Target like any book at Target but then I saw this and I've been trying to get it like on audiobook and I was like no this is a perfect time it's a sign so I got it I am so excited to read that book we're going a little bit backwards so I had bought whatever amount of books that I was gonna buy at Barnes & Nobles I checked out I got Starbucks and then I was like hey let me make a TikTok because I have not made any bookish TikToks re recently so I saw An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahada Mafi if you can see there's teardrops like all that shiny spots are teardrops it's so pretty it's so beautiful um I love Tahada Mafi if you have seen any of my other videos you will know that I love the Shatter Me series I love her middle grade duology and I love her other book called A, Lar a Very Large Expanse of Sea so this is her newest release it is about a Muslim girl I believe after 9-11 in 2003 I'm I don't know fully but I believe she is um, getting bullied because she's Muslim after the terrorist attack. Um, I'm so, so excited for this book. It wasn't a book that I expected to get today, but oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I did. As I said, we're working backwards. So after I checked out, I went to Starbucks and every month they have a book that they put for $5 if you purchase something from Starbucks. And this month's book was 14 Ways to Die. If you know me and my channel, I do not read thrillers or murder mysteries. But I thought I'd give this one a try. So basically it's about a girl named Jess and when she was seven her mother was murdered and that man still runs free. So 10 years later she applies to appear on an internet reality TV show where she'll be filmed once a week for a whole day and her social media and her texts are monitored. So she's kind of using this experience to tell the world that what happened to her mom is still relevant and she wants to find the murderer. And apparently there's one killer and 13 victims and a million views. So I hope I enjoy it. It also says that the chapters are really short and I think with Thriller like combining that it'll be a really really good book. The next book I have been putting off getting for so long it is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I am so excited to read this. If it's anything like The Hating Game I will absolutely love it. I'm not comparing but Sally Thorne did blurb it and if y'all know me I am obsessed with Sally Thorne and The Hating Game so I'm super excited to read this. Basically it's about a guy named Augustus Everett and January Andrews and they are both authors and I think they know each other from before but I believe they're at like this beach house and they're like they're both struggling with writing and they're like huh you think my genre is so easy you write it so they go on different like dates to get inspiration for their novels that they're switching writing if that makes sense apparently this is pretty deep although it is an adult romance and I'm so freaking excited because this is so so hyped okay I next book I'm so excited <laughs> so the next book I had not seen until I read it in the store and it is battle royal I don't know why I want to say battle royale I think that's a game I have no idea but basically this is kind of like a British rom-com so it's about a girl named Sylvie and she was a contestant on a baking show called Operation Cake and she was a hit the audience loved her everybody loved her except for one of the judges called Dominic and he's one of the favorite baker judges apparently but he kicked her off the show but now she's trying to open a bakery but she gets invited back on the show to be a judge and honestly Dominic even though everybody thinks that he hates her actually is infatuated by her and so now they're judging together and then I believe they have an opportunity to bake a cake for a princess wedding I don't know but it sounded so cute and the little cover is so cute so I had to get it honestly I didn't have to get this because it was also expensive but I honestly, I haven't heard many people talk about it, so I want to see if I like it. Now, the last two books, I have been really trying to get into poetry, and on there was a 50% sale, as you saw, and these two books were on there, and I was like, yes, 
for sure we're getting them. So the first one is I Would Leave Me If I Could, a collection of poetry by Halsey. I did not know Halsey made this, but literally look how stunning this is. I love this so much. I'm genuinely so excited to read this. It's probably going to be the next book that- Hi, editing Emily here. There are a bunch of cuts in the next couple of clips. My camera was being really weird and I thought I had a lot of all of the clips for Halsey's poetry book, but apparently it cut that out. So basically, Halsey's poetry book, it surrounds sex, dating, breaking up, being famous, sexual assault. So if that triggers you, don't read it. Um, and yeah, okay, let's go on to the next book. I'm excited for it. And the next poetry book is Violet Violet Bent Backwards Over the Grass by Lana Del Rey. I'm not a big Lana Del Rey fan, not because I hate her, just I don't listen to enough music to love both Halsey and Lana Del Rey, but I know that a lot of people love her, and I believe I saw somebody read this and they loved it and said it was so lyrical, just like Lana Del Rey's music. Um, and look at all these beautiful pictures, and I'm so, so, so excited. Um, I, I'm so excited for this. So these two books, super beautiful like literally so stunning my camera just shut off what, what? they're beautiful stunning and i'm so excited these are going to be the next two books that i read okay guys that is it for this video i know i said i was going to get something to eat um i got chipotle and i did not film that i was starving because it was 3 p.m and i hadn't eaten today um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so 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 much Please make me feel better about the amount of money that I spent. If you are excited about any of these books, tell me down below if you like them. I love you guys so, so, so much. Please subscribe, comment down below, do whatever you want to do, and goodbye.